A while ago, Gary Breitkertz and Dennis Young filed some more access to information requests. They wanted to find out which was more effective, the gun registry or the sex offender DNA registry. The answers they received are, shall we say, interesting. Question. Please provide statistics of the number of times that the gun registry has led police to a person suspected of a violent crime offense. Answer. The Canada Firearms Centre cannot provide a response, as it does not hold these statistics. Question. Please provide statistics on the number of times that the National DNA Data Bank has led police to a person suspected of a violent criminal offence. Answer. As of November 24, 2006, the National DNA Data Bank has documented 6,144 offender hits and 929 forensic hits. Question. What does the amount of money spent on registering firearms and accompanying infrastructure 1996 to present? Answer. The costs for registration of firearms were not kept separately before May of 2004. However, registration of firearms costs were published for the first time in fiscal year 2005 to 2006. As operating expenditures, registration activities is $11.4 million. Question. What is the amount of money spent in the National DNA Data Bank and accompanying infrastructure from its creation to present? Answer. A. From June 2000 to November 22, 2006, total is $26.4 million. B. Fiscal year 2005 to 2006 is $2.25 million. Direct and indirect costs would account for an annual cost of $5 million per year. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Why the government goes to such great lengths to track the cost effectiveness of the DNA data bank? And such a poor job of tracking the cost effectiveness of registering guns?